In order to understand the status of a record in the Seattle Services Portal, search for the record using address or record number, and then scroll down to look at the status column. If you are looking at a pre-application record or a record ending with the year and the letters PA, and you see the status additional info requested, that means that SDCI is still waiting for information to complete intake for this record. To understand which information is still outstanding, click the record number to open the record details. Click the status link and scroll down to see the workflow of the record. Expand the workflow by clicking on the triangle and scrolling down to see additional info requested and the plus sign which also expands to show the comment we are waiting for additional info on site plan. Once this information has been provided the pre-application can proceed. If you are looking at the status of a construction record You may also see the status of additional info requested. For a construction or land use record ending in CN or LU, the status of additional info requested indicates that the applicant needs to schedule an intake date. This is simply a date for SDCI to review the application and does not indicate that an in-person meeting is being scheduled. To schedule this intake date, click on the record number and click on Inspections and Appointments. Read the text that explains the process and come down to see that this record has a pending intake appointment that needs to be scheduled. Schedule by clicking the down arrow under Actions and then clicking Schedule. A note at the top of the window will tell you which dates are available. Find one of those dates and click it. And then click the bubble to confirm the date and click continue. You'll see the details, then continue again. If you wish to add any additional notes, you may do so in the box under additional information. Note that the intake appointment must be rescheduled before 7 a.m. one day prior to the date, otherwise a fee will be applied and click finish. Now the inspection has been added and is scheduled you can return to the record details for the record. Once you've scheduled your intake date, your CN or LU record should show the record status of scheduled. If you see the record status of scheduled, this indicates that SDCI is still waiting for some intake materials. Please submit those intake materials and once you've done so, your status will change to scheduled and submitted. This is the status you're waiting to see to indicate that your record is ready for the intake date to proceed. The intake staff now has everything they need in order to review this intake for this record. If you are looking at a record that has the status reviews in process, that means we have started at least one review, but all revu reviews are not yet finished. If you see a status in the status column that says corrections required, this means the review cycle 
is complete and at least one correction is required. You'll receive a notification that corrections are required, but status won't change in the Seattle Services Portal until all reviews are completed. If you see the status of corrections submitted, this means the applicant has submitted corrections. We have not started evaluating them. Though it may take a few days to process corrections, the due date is still the same as when corrections were submitted. If you just wish to understand the icons in the status uh, bar here, a green check mark indicates that a step is either done or not required. An hourglass means that the status is currently in process. As we mentioned at the beginning of this video, a black arrow can be clicked to expand and get more detail on that step of the workflow.